Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about perfumes that you guys hate here on YouTube. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. And my lipstick is Ruby Woo which I've not applied properly. One moment. So I've got my laptop behind me over there because guys, I broke my iPad. Let me show you. I was cleaning up and I had my iPad set up somewhere and tell me how the screen is smashed. I'm not happy at all. So I've got my laptop because then I can see everything nice and clear. So I asked this question a while ago in my community tab for you guys to share with me what perfumes you cannot stand. And I told you guys to be honest because it's a safe space. I also went over on Instagram, I asked the same questions and I got all my answers in my laptop at the back there. So I'm gonna keep on checking. Um, so the first one, <laughs> the most popular one that everyone honestly said they hated was Chanel number no. five. Now this comes as no surprise to me because I also don't like Chanel number no. five. It doesn't work for me. And I'm not going to go into details about this perfume in terms of describing them and all of that. You guys can check online to see the notes and all of that. But um, yeah, Chanel number no. five smells very ancient to me. It smells very dated. It smells very old. I wouldn't even get it from my, from my mom. I wouldn't get it from my, my mom would not like Chanel number no. five and it's just not a, a it's not a perfume for me it's not a perfume i want to smell on anyone to be honest it's an iconic perfume of course but the scent in that perfume honestly makes me feel uneasy and i've smelled people wear this perfume and it smells quite awful on them and they, they're feeling themselves and walking down self is like <laughs> i'm wearing chanel number five no you don't smell good so yeah i'm with you guys on that one the next one is blanche bet <laughs> i don't like that either i do not like blanche bet and i'm not one of these youtubers that will come out here to tell you oh this is nice that's nice just so that brands will work with me uh, of course i want to work with brands but i don't want to sell myself short because i want to work with brands i want to tell the truth and the truth needs to be told Blanche Bay is not a perfume to blind buy. Please go and smell that perfume first. Don't listen to people, please. We are all have different noses, different tastes. And I feel like Blanche Bay wasn't even milky, like tonic, like everyone was saying. Yes, it's milky, but I got this super strong tuberose and super strong coconut together. It was an explosive it was it was explosive in, in in the in not the best way possible but i'm with you guys blanche bet is absolutely um not blind by safe it's not as incredible as a lot of people on here have said it is and this is the reason why i would always advise you guys to please go and smell the perfume first if you can get a sample um get a sample of it don't just take people's words for it because some people are getting paid to say these perfumes are amazing and some people do think it's amazing genuinely but regardless of the reasons go and smell the perfume first see if it's your cup of tea don't blind buy it it's too expensive to blind buy anyway and there's another thing about that perfume i don't like the packaging i really don't like the packaging and yeah it's not for me i've not been because of that perfume I've not tried to go and smell anything else from the brand because Blanche Bear honestly didn't do it for me. <laughs> Black Orchid. <laughs> Black Orchid is a wicked perfume. That perfume is so bad. It is so bad that I would not give that to my worst enemy. That perfume, it looks like it was going to be deadly and dangerous. Just the look of it put me off and i think it's probably the most hated perfume even more than chanel number no. five because i kept seeing black orchid black orchid i'm like ah ah so you guys feel so the same way i feel about the perfume the perfume is not for the faint of hearts you have to be a strong 
I don't know. A wicked person. <laughs> oh my god, ignore that. You have to be totally into offensive perfumes to wear that. So yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm with you guys. Black Orchid probably is my most disliked perfume, to be honest. No, actually, no, it's not. <laughs> La Via Bell is. Black Opium by YSL. Yes, I'm with you. It's a coffee mess. I am not a fan. I never have been. I never will be. Um, Black Opium is such a generic, um, boring perfume at this point. I think we've got so many varieties out there that we don't need to be wearing Black Opium anymore. Plus, most of the flankers they brought out is way better than the original. I personally would recommend um black opium intense the one in the black bottle that one is ah, it is beautiful the new one i've not smelt it yet but people that i trust have smelt it and they said that it's not worth it but i'm still gonna get my nose on it i'm not gonna blind buy it because i don't really care for the black opium line like that so i'm not intrigued to go and smell it but i'm with you guys that don't like black opium i do think it's a bit of a it's a bit of a it's just dry and it doesn't smell nice on me and it doesn't smell nice on anyone i've smelt it on so yeah black opium is definitely a no for me as well now we're gonna do angel and alien together i actually have alien over here and i love it i absolutely love alien i think it's one of the most beautiful white floral perfume in my entire collection is very strong it's very powerful but i know a lot of people despise it but i think a lot of you guys despise angel more i think people actually like the new angel more than the original one which <sighs> i don't agree but <laughs> it's it's to each their own i feel like the new angel should not have been called angel it could have been called something else it could have been called adon or something anything but angel because that perfume has nothing to do with the new um the, the old angel that angel was very patchouli heavy and i loved it for that reason like i think angel was my first expensive purchase when i was in school i think it's incredible now there are people who love both alien and angel some people are alien girls some people are angel girl i'm both i love both although i don't wear the old um angel anymore i still wear alien because it actually gets me <laughs> so many compliments and it's very very powerful but i get it like you know it's not angel and alien are not the most likable perfumes they are not blind by safe and they are they are just seen as like you know old perfumes i don't smell good i completely disagree i feel like those perfumes were the back in the day perfumes that if you were the it girl that's what the it girls were wearing and i will forever love both perfumes but i get where you guys are coming from it's not mass appealing that's fair enough although i do find them both to be iconic so we've got dior addict <laughs> which i also agree with i don't hate it but it's a very complex and stuffy smelling vanilla it's not for everyone, but if you are looking for a slightly offensive, very strong, potent vanilla perfume, Dior Addict might be your best bet. I remember when I first smelled it, I thought it was like the best thing since sliced bread, but I never used it and I never understood why I didn't use it. That was the cluttered maybe back in 2020. I have not had my nose on that perfume for a long time and it's still surprising to me that it's still selling to this day. People are still buying Dior Addict um yeah i i it's a no for me as well and i get why it's a no for you guys also it's quite polarizing and yeah like i said it's borderline offensive i don't want to smother on anyone i just don't like it gives very very mature um vibe and even like some aunts my aunties i wouldn't want them to wear it either if a perfume should be discontinued it could be dior addict i feel like there's so many incredible perfumes that have been discontinued and it just feels like why the ones that should have been gone they're still here so for some reason people people still like it but i just don't understand why guidance by amouage now i was one of those people that hated this perfume because i hated it so much but i don't know what happened because i don't know i freaking love it 
I love like it's such a unique perfume yeah don't i think my one of my issues were spraying it on a card which made it smell very very odd but directly on the skin don't put your nose to it straight away give it two minutes just give it two minutes you won't have to grab your arm to smell it it will it will come to you like the scent will come from your arm to your nose the perfume is divine i will be getting it just not yet because i am on a no buy for a while i feel like i want to use up a few perfumes before i add new ones to my collection i don't really have space in my perfume cabinet and i've got like one two three like four um sections going down this way and each section has roughly about maybe like 40 perfumes in them and i just feel like i need to use up some perfumes before introducing new perfumes to my collection so i will be getting guidance just not yet donna bonnie roma is highly hated and i don't know why this is one of the most popular perfume literally from like 2020 and even to this day people love this this is the ultimate fruity floral perfume it's in the same family as prada paradox um my way by Giorgio Armani. They are all in the same family. This is a really, really nice perfume. It's easy wearing. So I don't get why people don't like it. I really like it. I don't love it. I've always said, um, Donna Bonnie Roma was never a love for me. I never felt like, oh my God, I need to have this in my collection. Otherwise my collection will not be complete. I have never felt that way about Donna Bonnie Roma, but I do like the perfume because it's very wearable. People tend to like it and a lot of people also wear it. But maybe that's why you guys don't like it because it's very common. This is a very common perfume. So I kind of get it, but I for one really like it. I think it's perfect for everyday wear. Right, another one that came up was the Sh Shalima line by Guerlain. No one seems to like it. And I'm with you guys. I didn't like any of the Shalimas until the Tonka one came out. As you guys can see, <laughs> I've barely used it because I feel like Tonka Bean can get too much for me. Sometimes it gives me a headache and this is solely a Tonka Ambery smelling perfume. It's very lovely. It's a limited edition, so I don't think you can find it anymore, but this is the only Shalimar that I could actually get with. I think it is divine. I would never get rid of it because I know that one day I'm going to wear it more. It's definitely like an autumn winter scent. But the other ones, the old Shalimars that have come and gone, I've not liked any of them. I like the one they released, I think it was a year or two ago, the vanilla one. I never got to buy it, but I got the opportunity to smell it. I thought it was really, really nice. But I feel like the Tonka one is actually incredible they've done a really good job here but yeah apart from this one i don't think i'd get any more of the shalimas if they come out um there was an iris one that came out last late last year that was really really nice um i think it's still available at harrods but don't quote me check it out if you can to see if you can buy it i don't know if you can sample it first because last time i went out i wasn't able to sample it but I smelt it once before and I thought that it was really lovely, but it didn't move me to want to buy. But it's another Shalima that smells really nice, but the Tonka one is absolutely divine. Okay, so Flora Botanica is another one you guys didn't like, and I get it. This is meant to have some cannabis. It's a floral scent. It's a green floral with some cannabis. Um, I don't get that in, that per in this perfume. It just smells like a super floral perfume with a lot of greenness i get why it's not love because this is not a uh, mass appealing likable perfume it's been discontinued and i get why because nobody's buying it and nobody's getting with balenciaga at the moment apart from kim not gonna say anything about that but <laughs> yeah this is a good perfume in my opinion but i get why you guys don't like it delina delina by perfumes de mali you guys are hating you guys are hating on Delina. Why? Why? This is a rose and lychee perfume that I love. It's a floral perfume. It's a beast mode perfume. Delina doesn't go anywhere because I hated this perfume for years. I was just like, what is this tart nonsense? But I don't know. My nose changes. And when it did, I fell in love and I got me a full bottle. 
I wouldn't repurchase Delina though. The reason being is because I love Delina exclusive. You guys already know. I literally have to stop myself from talking about Delina exclusive in every video. But I wouldn't re I wouldn't repurchase this, but I will always buy Delina exclusive. So I get why you guys don't like it. But for me, it's definitely one of the best rose perfumes out there. So that is Delina by Perfume Zomali. Sugar Patchouli 64 by Kayali uh, was one of the most hated perfumes. And guys, I'm offended. I'm offended because Sugar Patchouli is amazing. Now, this has vanilla, golden rum, creme brulee, yeah, brown sugar, royal oud, and sugar patchouli. Why do you guys hate this? Please comment below why you hate sugar patchouli. This perfume is a vanilla scent that smells inviting this is a compliment magnet yes it's a bit woody and patchouli heavy but the vanilla definitely comes in especially in the dry down and it makes it smell so rich and divine please start liking this guys <laughs> because i love it i think it's one of the best ones from Kayali is so complex. It smells incredible. It just is like vanilla with some booziness, some greenness. It's woody. It's powerful. It's amazing. And I love it. So I'm disagreeing with you guys. This is a love for me. <laughs> so I get it with Scott. So I get why you guys don't like this one. And this is a rose um forward perfume with some sweetness and my husband hates this he hates it yeah my daughter doesn't like it i love it i love this this is one of those perfumes that everyone will smell on you this is what everyone at harrods are wearing this is what them beautiful middle eastern women are wearing why don't you like it i do get it because it's not as sweet as you'd expect it to be. It's not like a oud rose combo, like oud bouquet or um, oud satin mood. This is more of a, like a sour sweetness, if that makes any sense. Although I find it sweet. I find that it's very, very woody though. So you like, you need to like a dry, unsweetened woody scent to really enjoy this but if you are looking for long lasting powerful perfumes check out skirt so don't blind buy it because <laughs> someone came for me in my dms guys said to me that i said this was amazing and i blind bought it and it's rubbish and i'm just like ah. i always put disclaimer don't blind buy go and smell it first you know of course if you've got money to spend and you don't care, blind, blind by that's your own, right? But this person came for me and I was like, ah, sorry, I thought it was lovely. It doesn't mean that you would think the same thing. You know, she's like, this is the first time you're going to stare me wrong. It's like, stare you wrong. <laughs> I shouldn't be staring you at all. You should have a mind of your own and decide what works for you and what doesn't. Because I always say there are certain perfumes that, yeah, they might be blind by safe because they are mass appealing. But with Mila Aris so I've always said, go and smell it first, please, before you buy. So to that person that came for me, I don't really care. <laughs> like the way they came was the issue. Not them telling me they didn't like something I recommended. Is the energy. Don't come with that vibe or that energy because I have those kind of vibes and energy in abundance. It's there. I can give it right back to you. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. Skirt soap is amazing in my opinion, but not blind by safe. Okay. <laughs> so we've got two more perfumes, and the <laughs> and the second to the last is Baby Cat by YSL. I can't even tell you guys anything because <laughs> I love this. I love this. I think you guys are haters. <laughs> yes, you're hating on Baby Cat what is wrong with it yes it's a little bit strong in the opening a bit tobacco-y and super super smoky to my nose but you've got to wait for it you got to relax and just be like you know let me let it do its thing before i judge it 
um it's definitely one that you gotta be careful with the opening don't overspray. it's very smoky but i love smoky perfumes it's nowhere near as smoky or as powerful as lune feline now that perfume is <laughs> It's not for everybody, but I feel like in the dry down, a lot of people can get with baby cat. Um, it's sadly really hard to find, which is just beyond me because the brand clearly knows people love it. So why can people not find it? It's very weird. But if you hate baby cat, you can get all the audacity by pen halligans. Now, this is literally very similar to baby cat, but this is sweeter and less smoky and more likable so baby um all the, all the audacity is available in a lot of places i will link it below don't worry about searching this everywhere just get this one instead i think this is more likable and to be honest i prefer this to baby cat <sighs> and last <laughs> but not least you guys absolutely detest br540 this came up the most um on instagram and on youtube everyone seems to hate br br540 and their reasons actually i don't think it's a good enough reason to hate this this is a very very iconic perfume this is probably more iconic than angel by mugla because this has been duplicated duped a million times over yes that's a slight exaggeration but a lot of known brands, unknown brands, dupe houses, literally everyone has um, duped this perfume. But why are they duping it? Because it's in high demand. Everybody loves BR540. So I think what people dislike is the fact that it became very mainstream. It became very common and everybody was smelling like BR540. But I will not repurchase it, guys. I will not because it's, it's very popular i don't want to wear it out because i'm afraid that someone is going to smell like me so what i do now with br540 is i layer it i will however always have the extract in my collection i think this one is divine it's got that almond note that makes it a tiny bit different from the original but yeah i use this a lot for layering these layers with everything really really well so i kind of get it guys but when we are judging on the scent i don't think that's the reason why you guys don't like it you just don't like that it's very mainstream and it's not that niche perfume that's very special to everybody anymore because it's owned by a lot of people and the dupes are really duping they're very identical but they are not exactly the same as the og and i absolutely love it so that is br540 by mfk so my lovelies that is it for this video uh, let me know what is your most disliked perfume ever comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye